Femtograph is an interactive browser of pan-genome graphs and lets you visually explore the entire genetic variation between multiple whole genome DNA sequences. In principle, any genetic variation data up to whole genome assemblies can be used to build a pan-genome graph, which is a compressed data structure of the aligned input sequence information. Current tools like VG or Progressive Cactus, but especially PGGB, can now cope with large mammalian or complex plant genomes and can build whole chromosome graphs. We at Computomics are currently developing Pantograph as a scalable all-in-one visualization to explore such graphs, to comprehensively view both small-scale and large-scale genetic variation and in addition to visually evaluate genotype to phenotype associations. Let's have a look on how Pantograph represents genome graphs and what biological questions it can help address. Our showcase dataset consists of 29 whole genome assembled lines of soybean, from which we generated a graph from the chromosome 8 sequences with a tool PGGB. Each individual chromosome sequence is shown in one row as a path through the graph. An artificial pangenome sequence is generated and shown on top, which is simply the concatenation of all sequences in the graph and thus contains all variation in the samples. Therefore, a single nucleotide variant is represented in two consecutive columns. The gray color indicates the presence, the white color the absence of the nucleotides on top. The blue color denotes annotated genes for that sample, dark blue for exons, light blue for introns. In this dataset, all genomes have been de novo annotated, and most lines show genes in this region on the reverse trend. For some lines, the gene ends earlier. We can inspect the base pair level and identify the last three bases to be the standard stop codon TAG as the reverse complement of CTA, likely due to upstream variants causing a frameshift in those lines. The user can easily browse and scroll with the mouse. Since only parts of the graph are loaded, Pantograph is independent of the genome sizes and enables the comprehensive exploration of human and even larger plant genomes. The presence-absence matrix representation allows summarizing consecutive columns and in this way enables different zoom levels. A column now represents a genomic region rather than a single nucleotide and its coverage in each genome is represented in different shades. With this higher level view, the user can easily explore larger scale presence-absence variation like deletions and insertions and even inspect a whole chromosome where we see the highly variable centromeric region split up to the middle and the end of the chromosome graph. The color of a region can indicate further kinds of genomic variation. Copy number variation in shades of turquoise, inversions in red, where the sequence reads from right to left, and inverted and duplicated regions in purple. Variation that cannot be represented in the linear matrix scheme is displayed via links. Little arrows pointing up indicate to continue reading the sequence at the other end of the link. Here we see regions to be swapped in some of the lines. Region 2 on the right is in some lines traversed before region 1 on the left. Together, Pantograph can display all kinds of genetic variation between genomes in one framework, from single nucleotide up to whole genome level. This extended knowledge can help enhance marker development and marker selection beyond single nucleotide variants SNVs, or used to identify linked SNVs to phenotype-associated structural variation. Another main goal of Pantograph is to inspect genetic and phenotypic variation at the same time. For this reason, Pantograph supports the display of any metadata for the paths, like phenotypic trait values, provenance, disease status, drug response and the like. 
This information is shown in a heat map before the path names one column per metadata. The user can easily sort the paths according to variants. Here, for example, this deleted region in some lines and check if those lines have metadata in common that is different from the other lines. In this instance, the second column contains a phenotypic trait, the seed coat color of the soybeans, which is unique to the five samples that are lacking this specific region. This can be highlighted by coloring the paths according to this phenotype. We quickly see that this deletion results in the loss of one exon of the underlying gene. This way, together with a display of one or multiple gene annotations, Pantograph offers a unique opportunity to inspect your QTL or GWAS loci to help fine mapping your traits of interest, or inform about potential gene editing targets based on whole population data. Altogether, Pantograph serves as a visual aid for exploring the entirety of genomic variation, for marker discovery and selection, for fine mapping traits of interest, for comparing gene annotations, and in general for comparing different pangenome graph topologies. Pantograph is still under development, and we would be delighted to discuss possibilities to mutually tailor it to help supporting your specific interest. For example, to browse only variable positions and make it a searchable graphical resource for a genetic variation and metadata library. If you're interested or for any questions, please reach out to Jörg under jörghagmann at computomics.com.